Welcome in Kariboni to Aroma of Zanzibar. Today I'm going to show you how I prepare and fry my fish. So I have got two medium size whole tilapia and this is fresh. I do not like to use frozen fish and you could use this recipe for any type of fish that you want to. All right. So we're just going to take it out and I also don't like to clean fish. So I make sure that it's cleaned at the store. So this is nice and clean and all I need to do is score it. Actually, they do that for me as well. And I forgot to tell them to remove the fins, but I can manage for today, no problem. All right, so I just score it and I'm going to do the other fish as well. And then I just put it in the tray or you, any container for that matter. And we're going to start our first marination, which is just salt. Just sprinkle some salt. And then we're going to put the turmeric powder. And please, if you're so particular or concerned about your nails, please do wear gloves because this will leave some, leave you with some yellow nails for quite some time. But I wash dishes a lot, so I'm not worried about that. All right, so you just want to rub it. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side as well. Okay, so in the meantime, I'm preparing my marination, which is uh, fresh garlic. As you can see, I've got about six cloves and then uh, ginger. And I've got about a couple of mint leaves and half a teaspoon of salt. All right, and we're just going to make a nice paste out of this. And then I've got about half a teaspoon of red chili powder and half a teaspoon of uh, cumin powder and then coriander powder as well. And also half a teaspoon of black pepper and a quarter teaspoon of uh, turmeric powder. Then you want to squeeze in some lemon or lime. Now you can reduce or you can increase the amount of the spices in there. But this is not really hot. It's just uh, flavorful. So if you want it more spicy, you can always add uh, extra chili powder or cayenne pepper. All right. And then we just add about a tablespoon of oil, any vegetable oil or olive oil that would work as well. And that's it. So my fish has been sitting for about 10 minutes and I'm just going to smother this with this thick paste. And you want to make sure that it's all in there. And uh, it's very simple. Um, I usually don't fry my fish. I like to oven fry it. But I've been asked to show how to fry fish. So this is how I do it. Now this is how we do it, uh, the Swahili culture, I think even Indian culture, we do not remove the head. All right. So for my American friends, please understand this. And um, I mean, the, the head or the skin, you know, when I came here for the first time, it was so difficult for me to figure out how to cook the fish fillet because I'm so used to having my fish this way. All right. So now I have got my pan here and I'm just going to add just enough oil to cover half of the fish when I dip it in. Okay, so this is basically like shallow fry. And then the other fish, I'm going to grill it, broil it rather. So I'm just spraying some oil, grease, it's a vegetable grease. Then we're going to place our fish there. And then just spray it on the top as well. And then I just put it on broil for about six to seven minutes on one side and then flip it and cook it on the other side as well. All right. So broil is only the top heat. And now this side, my oil is ready. It's on medium high and we just dip in the fish. And same thing. You want to cook it for about... Uh, five to six, min six minutes. It depends on the thickness of or how big your fish is. It may take longer time or lesser time as well. So I just like to drizzle some hot oil in here just to make sure that all the parts of the fish is cooked because I'm not deep frying this. So of course, some of the parts are not covered with oil. Okay, so that's, you know, that's very simple. So once it's cooked on one side, we're just going to flip it on the other side. And now you can serve your fish with anything that you like. 
Now, this is my continuation of my videos that I've posted earlier, the recipes of dal and naan. This is what I served it with, but you can have it with rice or whatever you, you fancy. Okay, so this is just uh, ready and um, I'm going to remove it from the pan and put it in a paper towel so we can drain all that extra grease. Right, it's nice and crispy. As you can see now, these black spots are actually the ginger and garlic paste. And they taste really good as far as I'm concerned. Okay, and um, the other side, I have got my fish from the oven. This is also ready. And we're just ready to serve. Now, this is not as crispy as I would have wanted it to be. And if you want, you can just, uh, you know, decorate it with some letters. And it's very simple. Well, thank you so much for more recipes. Please visit me at Aroma of Zanzibar. You'll find all the ingredients and the measurements in the description box below. Thank you.